Today is day 10 of Singapore's circuit breaker, our fight against the coronavirus. Yesterday, there was another spike of infections, rising from 334 cases to 447. This is made up of 38 local cases, 5 foreign workers who are not staying in dormitories, and 404 foreign workers who are staying in dormitories. In Singapore, we have 200,000 foreign workers staying in 43 purpose-built dormitories. Some of these workers caught the virus from Mustafa Center and brought it back to their dormitories, spreading it there. At the moment, 17 of these 43 dormitories are in lockdown mode and authorities are trying their best to contain the virus and take care of the foreign workers there. The number of local cases at the moment is hovering around 36 cases a day. We hope that as the circuit breaker progresses, the number of local cases will go down. Singapore experienced SARS in 2003. Back then, there was no circuit breaker because SARS was so terrifying. Everybody stayed at home. Nobody dares to go out. And if you try to Google or YouTube to find out how life was like in Singapore during SARS, you can hardly find any information other than news reports. This is the thing that motivates me to make COVID-19 videos. I hope to tell the situation on the ground, listen to the people's frustrations, their fears and their hopes and hope that this will be a source of information for future generations of Singaporeans. Some of my viewers have feedback to me, saying that you appreciate my sharings and at the same time, very concerned for my health and safety. I've heard you, thank you, and I've decided that I shall stop filming till the circuit breaker is lifted. I will be doing my marketing quickly and staying home. Thank you.